a case of uh, uh, Chinese Southeast Asian nose, as you see, wide, round, broad tip, very wide, alar base, under projected tip, under projected tip, low radix, low dog sap, short dog sap. So we are going to do an augmentation rhinoplasty. I hope you enjoy the procedure. Okay, we start first identifying the tip defining point. The junction, junction between the intermediate cola and the lateral class. As we do usually, we leave the lateral class alone. No marginal incision, no exposure, no delivery. We're working mainly in the midline on the intermediate class and on the upper portion of the medial cola. So we believe in leaving all this, this part of the air cartilage intact, all this part. The uh, caudal portion of the intermediate cola and the lateral cross. So all this arch will stay intact. All this arch will stay intact. We're working mainly in the midline, in the caudal portion of the intermediate cola and upper portion of the medial cola. Now the first step is to also continue marking from inside the junction of the intermediate to the lateral cross. Marking from inside the junction intermediate to the lateral cross. And before I start, I'm going to obtain a concal graft. I need auto grafting for this patient. So we go through a skin crease, as you see, through a skin crease. Clean, clean. Clean, clean, clean. See this fatty, the fatty this is always Southeast Asia has a lot of fat in this and the skin as you see. So we go Okay, so we'll go with the sharp scissor, gently, gently. Okay. Okay. So we got the graft now, nice graft, as you see, sorry. This nice graft, as you see, which we try to use on the dorsum if we obtain enough septal cartilage. Nice graft. Nice graft to go, clean my finger, please. To go there after we do the tip augmentation and the tip refinement. We'll see how it goes now. Okay. So start now obtaining the septal graft first. We push the nasal back. The patient actually having a laryngeal mask. Few millimeters behind the caudal septum. We try to get to the right plane. You are on the right. Once you are on the right plane, your dissector will run very smooth, very quickly down all the way through. And you see now the white cartilage. Can you see the white cartilage there? Relax. Okay. All the way down. Again, we go few about one centimeter behind caudal septum. Inside the cartilage, get access to the right. We the flap. Again, hopefully you are on the right plane. Now you see the cartilage in between the two blades. We can have good deviation. Deviated septum. So the cartilage between the two blades of the... I don't think he got a large piece of cartilage. Let's try to see what we can get. Yeah, I was expecting so because he is over 40. 
That's what we got only. That's what, that means we are going to use the concave graft mainly for the tip. You see all bone now, of bone there. Section, section. Lot of bone, kink bone. Doing the septoblasting. Okay, give me the sector. Go to the floor. Over the maxillary crest. And then this piece of cartilage. Over the maxillary crest for now. As we have done, see intact flab, intact flab in both sides. We have enough, enough septoblasty. Now we start the rhinoblasty, the intercartilage incision, junction between the skin and the mucosa. Bear in mind, this patient has got small and soft cartilage. Small and soft cartilage. So you are working mainly, as you see, in the midline, mainly in the midline. Now, exact pocket, don't make wide pocket, exact pocket. So when you push your cartilage, you push your cartilage, you push your cartilage into this exact pocket. So the cartilage will not float, will not swim and float. Okay. Now we reduce this tubular alar fullness slightly here. This is portion of the cephalocatarial cross and the curvature of the abogatarial cartilage. We just trim this portion. And we keep the suction. The valve absolutely intact as you see. So this excites from this area. Again, we do the same on the other side, clean the nose from outside. Get the mucosa away, push the mucosa down. And remove portion of the cephalic cataract cross. So let's remove again from there. And as you see, look again, giving the valve, the valve intact. Okay. Now we start our tip blasting. Shark the hook holding the medial cura. And this is the junction between the intermediate and lateral cusp. We divide the intermediate cusp medially. The medial to lateral. So you see we are, we are, we are there in the midline. Again, dividing the intermediate cusp from medial to lateral. And look where we are. We are there in the midline. We are leaving the lateral cusp alone. We deliver both intermediate across now to one side. Both intermediate across now are delivered to one side, as you see now. Section, section, clean, clean. Okay, hold. Give me sharp scissors. With sharp scissors, we go between the two middle cura on the way down, on the way down. Okay. Hold, keep holding this one for me. And we got our graft now, the circular graft not enough. So we have a nice tip of graft and a nice columnar strut from the concalic graph, good that we go went straight and we obtained a concalic graph. So we have a nice concalic graph. Hold. We switch this now strong foundation, the Two intermediate core 
to the contact graph, to the columella strut, columella contact graft, as you see. We have strong foundation in the midline of conjoint intermediate to middle corona supported by the columnar strut and next step now the tip graft. So this will give us more tip projection as you see before. The patient has got an under projected tip. Look at the under projected tip there. Now another bucket along the caudal end of the medial cura and now we push the okay very nice tip graft we switch that now these structures together so creating a strong foundation very strong foundation in the midline We'll clean this soft tissue later now, after we finish suturing. Okay. And we make another suture now on the other side to fix it nicely. This is a bitch that has got severe flat tip, so we need more graft here on the tip. So we go to the center of the graft again, and we will divide. So we we'll use this one. Let me switch that straight away. The multiple graft. Because, because we need to fill, you need to fill this area. Can you push it please forward, forward? I need to fill this area. I need to fill this area there. This patient, main issue is this with this flat, flat tip. We need to achieve a nice double break area. case you are watching a triple graft a triple graft you want to achieve an excellent result a triple graft there you can see of this very flat area very flat area there this is the art of nanoblasty the art of the tip correction patient has got quite a sick skin as you see so don't worry about demarcation 
of the flap. Try to push the stack shank now, of very strong stack shank now. Three table graft, call a middle graft, conjoint intermediate with the core to the midline. See now. And then see how much got smaller to extract. We just managed to shrink that. Ah, so before we spin it, we need to put the graph. Mm -hmm. Now we need to graph the dorsum. We try if we can find. What we got? Is it a big graph? Yes. Mm, show with the back. That's what you show the back yes. first. Bring the back. Can you show the back? Rib grab. Rib grab. Rib. Yeah, the rib grab. Yes. Yeah. So we'll be using this time, similar to this, can you show the opening up the graph? It's homograft, as you see, so we have already small beast ready. Okay, fine. Thank you. So this graft will go there. Will go there. And we'll be the graft now. So give me a knife. You will just try to cross hatch the graft. Give me mark and bend. Dry it up, dry it up first. Okay. You mark him then. We'll cross hatch it this way. So straight line first. Okay, give me that. Okay, give me a marking. And then we'll cross hatch it this way. Oblique. And of course, has it now the opposite way. For now, if you make it to see how it's going to, to flex now, it's going to flex and it will it will it will rub the door some nicely, and this will prevent the warping of the flap because the graft now will because we did this, so it will sit nicely on the door. Some give me marking bend. So now, if you imagine this cross section in the door, some like this, so the graft will not sit like this. If you sit like this, it might. In the future world like this. So the graph is going now to sit in this way. Because we have done all the cross matching. So the graph, this will reduce significantly the possibility of the warping of the graph. In the bucket now. Put the ground gently to this bucket.
in the graph now pushed very gently and as you see now it's very nice dorsum dorsum you see how, how much now the high radix now is there compared to this low low radix there this low radix there you got very nice high radix now and you see now you see when i press now on the on the skin like this you never see the edges because the graph, as we say, is now taking this shape, so it's supposed not to warp now. You significantly reduce the possibility of warping of the graph with this cross hatching. You see, there is no edge at all. So you reduce both possibility of cross hatching and also the possibility of the demarcation of the, of the, of the remove this one, of the flap. It is now time maybe to fix it with suture if we need, if we enough need, also even. Let me check. Okay, suction. In the gas, you can see the gas there sitting nicely. Give me the suture. We'll fix it with a suture, push it or to the midline, and then. Hold in the gas. Leave it now. Just don't squeeze. You know, just make sure that the gas will stay in the midline. Okay, fine. It's fine now. Okay. Now we do the entire cross approximating such as to reduce more the super alar fullness. So it goes with the superior septal angle from one side to another side. Section. This patient has got small, very small and soft attire cars. It's Chinese, people from China, from Southeast Asia, from Southeast Africa. That's why you need to make a very nice foundation and support the cartilage because you have soft, small cartilages. This one should give you more tip, super tip definition. Sorry, super alar definition. Again, through the other cross, as you see, on the other side, and you see the effect. Of the suture there, given more definition of the supra alar area. Don't squeeze too much because you aim only to approximate the lateral cross to the midline. Approximation of the lateral cross in the midline, you will get two, two or three benefits. It will give you more tip definition, more tip refinement, more refinement of the supraalar area, and also it will hold your graft again tight in the midline. Now in a graduate section, maybe last step of the procedure, she got nice 
nicer projection, nicer elevation, nice high dolson. Okay. And now we do the inner wedge section. Don't go lateral to the fold, don't go up, don't go down, stay inside the fold. With your finger, get to this angle, connect lateral to medial, mark your face, switch that again, staying inside the fold, inside the fold, finger this angle, connect. See? Patient has got a very, very depressed tip as you see. We got already put actually three tip graft and still not enough. I mean I go back after I finish to the ear and put another graft. We'll be making four graft. But let me do this airlock with the section first and see what I can do about it. So three tip graft is still not enough to manage this severely depressed tip as you see. And it's pushed against the glass of the window. Exactly. And it is washed against the glass of the window. Severely depressed tip. Severely depressed tip. Let that go to the left to the eye. Clean. Clean it, please. Clean nicely. Okay, keep cleaning, keep suction. Start the first suture where we mark the first suture. You see, now we achieved a nice straight edge to edge because we marked the first suture. Nice straight edge to edge. Take it on. Stay in sub cuticle. Three o'clock. Maybe that's why Nora keeps on calling. So we have done one side now nicely. And you see, see the difference one between the two sides now. Okay, we do do other side now.
Sushi. Again, you mark the first sushi, and as you see, almost edge section here, edge to edge again, exactly edge to edge. Strange subcritic killer. And the last one is the smoother skin. So we have done now the A language, the section, we need the A language removed. The two pieces removed. You see almost really very symmetrical. See the two pieces removed from the A language. As you see, quite a large piece is still actually the nostrils large. You see a nice and symmetrical. Now again, we achieve nice dorsum augmentation but we still, also we have both three table graphs still flat. I try to hope I can get more, more graphs from here to use. Give me the sharp scissor. Are you have here? Yes, sir. Ah, we have, okay, that's fine, good. So we have a good piece actually, you try to use it, okay. It's from the septum. See if we can push it, give me none two forceps. Push it to this area. Hopefully it will improve. Hold, hold for me, give me sharp scissors. Two forceps. Hold, hold the scissors. Give me two forceps. You can go out. Well, this is the maximum we can do. Already 40 graft. Columnar strut. 
Because you see that now, much, much better now. You see now, much better. Very nice now, very nice. We have fit the tip, very nice. We stretch the columella, nice tip rejection, nice tip elevation. We fill this all the breast area, you see, quite the breast, as exactly if the breast again, the glass of the window. So we spent a hard job to augment this area for tip graft in order to achieve what we achieved now, for tip graft, as you see. So oblique dome division, columella strat, tip graft, for tip graft, as you see, Elagrage resection, obtaining concave graft, doing septoblasty, dorsum grafting, now all being done in about less than 35 minutes. Full augmentation ranoblasty on South, patients from Southeast Asia, with the use of the uh, septal graft, concave graft, and dorsal homograft. So, quite a nice result. See big difference between before and after. As you see now, before we follow the original patient photograph, and actually the result talks about itself, we don't need to talk much. And you will see the patient after 10 days, and again you will see the patient after one month. You see the difference between before and after. Okay. Okay, this is Basha Bizra from the Rhinoblasty Bizra Academy and the London Academy of Facial Plastic Surgery from Dubai and London. Thank you for watching.